2017's It, directed by Andy Muschietti. I went to go see the film tonight. Somebody told me weeks ago that this movie was getting a lot of really good reviews. And I was wondering how they were going to do it because for those who don't know, this is not the first time It has been adapted. There's obviously the, what I consider, classic TV movie It starring... Tim Curry as the clown Pennywise that came out way back in the 90s. And let me tell you something for those of you who have never seen it. First of all, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it. And the thing about that movie is that it's a movie that I remember as a kid, everybody talking about. When I was in school, everybody talked about the movie It. And I can tell you that that movie single-handedly made so many of my friends afraid of clowns, that It movie. And then when I finally got around to seeing it a few years later, I thought it was really fun to watch, but it was also a little bit too cheesy. And, you know, Tim Curry is such a great actor, but he's also really funny, and sometimes unintentionally so. So when you watch that film, it's kind of just more fun sometimes and more campy and goofy than it is actually scary. Well, with this version of It, they went back to the drawing board and tried to make the film a bit more scary and a bit more like the book. Now, the one thing I'll tell you is that the film capturing the book is damn near impossible. If you've never read the It book, the It book is like really thick and has tons and tons and tons of backstory and tons of stuff. With this movie, they obviously, like with every book adaptation, they couldn't even fit even a quarter of that in. So they had to, of course, you know, combine the story and, and, and compress the story, so to speak, to make it, you know, a regular movie. So I don't want to get into spoilers, but let's just say that I was very surprised as to how they handled the end of the movie. Very surprised, and it was very unexpected as far as what they were going to do. So the thing about this adaptation of It versus the original one, I'm not going to make comparisons the entire time. That's not what we're doing here. Just more so about how much I liked the movie and whether or not, you know, it was good or bad. Yes, I enjoyed this movie. I thought that it was, it did come off like it was genuinely trying to scare you. It did come off more terrifying, but it also came off like, well, you know, I've seen it. I know what the outcome is, but when they're fighting Pennywise, you know, the dancing clown, otherwise known as it, you know, I wondered if I was going to be able to enjoy the film knowing not just what happens, but also the fact that this is a very difficult villain, so to speak, for them to beat. Well, they did a pretty good job of it. I thought it was handled much more seriously. And I actually thought the, the joy of watching this movie was the performances. So Bill Skarsgård plays it. Now, obviously, Tim Curry has an unbelievable amount of charisma. But I thought Bill Skarsgård did a great job as far as his way of coming off creepy. And the thing about this movie is that it's much more relentless, much more violent, and much more adult than the previous It TV adaptation. There's tons of profanity in this movie, um, said by the kids. There's um, much more gore, much, much, much more gore in this version. The first scene of the film involves a child getting, well, let me not spoil it, but let's just say that I was very shocked and very surprised that they went that far with the film because not something that we see. Even in a lot of these modern horror movies, it's not something we see on a big, you know, Mick Hollywood film. We rarely see that kind of stuff. But no, Bill a Skarsgård did make this version of it creepy, and I think it worked, and I thought he did a great job. I really thought he did a pretty good job. But what made the movie stand out to me was the performances from the kids. I thought they all did a fantastic job. Sophia Lillis as Beverly I thought was lovable, um, you know, charming, but also kind of cool, kind of a badass, you know. We've got also Richie and Ben, and then, of course, we have, you know, the main character, Bill, who is looking for, well, again, no spoilers in case you've never seen it before, but there is a story here that's, you know, going through uh, for this character, and I thought it was a really good arc, and I thought they showed pretty good development by the end of the film. Not the best I've ever seen, but, you know, pretty decent, I would say. And then there's also, of course, the bullies, like, you know, Henry and those guys. Uh, Henry was portrayed by, by a guy named Nicholas Hamilton, who really, really reminds me of Nick Stahl's performance in the Larry Clark film, Bully. If you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Nick Stahl just comes off like a complete dick as Bobby Kent in that movie. And I thought that in this movie... You know, I think this this actor, you, you know, who I've never seen, I've never seen Nicholas Hamilton before. He might have seen that movie and gotten influence from it. I thought that was really, really good work, and I thought it was very, very surprisingly good. The movie was disturbing in a way, but not 
anywhere close to being as disturbing as the book. The book has all kinds of very interesting scenes, especially one with, you know, if you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about and what I'm alluding to here. The Beverly scene with the guys, very creepy Stephen King stuff. That was left out of the movie. Um, the ending I thought was pretty cool when they all had the big showdown with the clown. Um, it was fine. Like, I, I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was I'm still going to have nostalgia for the original I really am going to have nostalgia for that first it and I love Tim Curry so very much but this is a rated R movie it's an it's basically like that version remade for adult audiences like everybody who was a kid who saw that version is going to come back and watch this one and say okay this is like the adult version of that movie and unlike the Power Rangers movie which I did say was like an adult version of you know the old Power Rangers this didn't really try so hard to be that. Like, the performances here came off much more natural. The cinematography came off more real. They really captured that look of, of, of Maine. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed the film, and I look forward to seeing if they adapt any more Stephen King novels in this vein, because I would like to see some that had never been adapted before, maybe eventually get it. You know, Dark Tower earlier this summer was critically panned. This film is the opposite. So go see it. Great movie. Still tons of good horror movies coming up for the next couple of months. So I'm sure I'll go check some of those out. And let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. Um, obviously, if you haven't read the book, it's huge. It's a big book. I do recommend reading it. But man, is that a weird-ass book. It's very weird. Um, and if you haven't seen the original TV movie, it is a classic. But it's a cheesy TV type of classic. But I liked it. Thank you so very much. And I hope you all have a great day.